Okay, so we've already done a quick initial review on this new pump from Legendary Milk, but this is going to be my final thoughts for now, the actual review on it, okay? So, I still don't know how to say this. <laughs> anyway, this is the brand of the pump that Legendary Milk has just put out. And there are a, cool, a couple cool things about this pump, okay? We've seen pumps similar to this before. Um, the Mom Cozy, there's a few videos on Instagram and YouTube on the Mom Cozy pump. It's very similar, but there are a few differences here that I'd like to show you. First of all, there's some red parts. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's cool, I guess. The setup is very similar to these other um, cups, okay? So you've got, that's the backflow protector. You've got a valve on there. You will need to get those parts specifically from Legendary Milk, all right? This cup holds seven ounces. It's a little over 200 milliliters, so that's cool. Uh, it'll hold plenty of milk for you. It is almost identical in size to other cups that you'll see. It, it's quite large, um, but I mean, there's a motor on top, so we're not going for obviously super discreet pumping like you would be with something that can fit totally in the bra. Um, but it's very easy to set up. The parts only fit on one way. It does come with a 28 millimeter uh, flange, which is pretty big in my opinion. I don't know. There's not a ton of moms pumping with 28s. And that is your only option for the moment. So you can, um, it does however come with a 25 millimeter insert and that just comes standard so if you want it to make it a 25 millimeter you can all right and then it's 25. you can also order um, other sizes of inserts for it okay so with this being a 28 millimeter hole you're gonna have to order them from legendary milk so that they fit but they've got tons and just order it along with your pump should be no problem okay you got the soft silicone on this pump. It's also frosted on the edge, so you can see how it's not as see-through right there. I actually really like that. It feels better on your skin, and um, it's not as, like, grabby, like the, the clear silicone. It just, I don't know, it feels better. I like it, but it's that soft silicone, which a lot of moms are loving. It also has a valve on the top here, and I did a couple of suction tests on this pump today, and... When I had the valve open or just placed on there, the suction was good. If I shoved it all the way down in there, because at first I was like, I'm just going to shove this in and see if I can get, um, it did affect the suction in a negative way, actually. So just place it on top there. Um, that actually is going to make it pretty dang leak proof. It's definitely not leak proof if you bend way over you're still gonna get milk out of there, but there's not an open hole, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's check out the motor. This motor has five different speeds on expression or massage mode, and these buttons are super user-friendly. So the little hand is massage mode, like you were gonna give a massage, okay? And that's uh, the stimulation mode. So the first one, it's a little bit faster. All right, and then the little drop is the expression mode. You'll notice that one slows down and it's more for when you're, after you're let down, you're really like getting all the milk out, okay? So I did some max suction tests on this pump and let me tell you what I got. So as far as sound, let's talk about sound really quick first. I'm gonna put it actually suction because they do sound different when they're suctioned to something. It's not the quietest pump I've played with. There's kind of a weird machine sound too in the motor. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not crazy loud, but I do think it would be noticeable if you were like, a receptionist at a desk you were sitting there had that in um you would notice but not crazy let me show you what this looks like inside the bra so you can wear it completely under oh, 
I don't need an unmax section for this part. <laughs> um, you can wear it totally under the bra if you want, um, but that motor does stick up. And then you have just kind of the normal compression that you get when you wear a cup in your bra, um, which some people don't mind and some people really don't like. So I do think that pumps, like the cup style pumps, in my opinion, do not empty as fully as a phalange. And I, and I think part of it is this, this right here. See how it's kind of compressing a little bit and I don't have a ton of milk at the moment. So my breasts are more soft. If you had firmer, fuller breasts, it might work a little bit better, but, um, yeah, that's pretty standard for the cup style though. Uh, this is probably my, this is probably my favorite of this style of pump where you've got the motor on top and the cup down below. All right. Um, let's look at some max section for this. So, do, 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 do. my computer here, I just don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, okay, let's do suction first and then we'll talk about like pricing and stuff like that. Okay, so I did a bunch of tests today on expression mode on max suction. I got 240, which is pretty good uh, for a little pump like that. So I used my, my Pumpables Genie Advance, which is one of my favorite pumps. I used that as like a a guide, like a test guide today because some of the other pumps that I tested, I was really surprised at the low number. So then I'd throw my Genie Advanced on there just to make sure that my booby barometer was still working. Um, and when I put the Genie Advanced on there, I was getting a max section of like 305, which is a pretty high max section. Um, that pump is a beast by the way. But anyway, so for reference, this one from Legendary Milk, was getting about 240 and I got that consistently. One time it was 220 but I had the valve kind of um, messed up in the top so if you're getting a little I don't think you would notice that difference in the suction though but if you are the suction is not awesome make sure that it is assembled correctly okay um okay the minimum suction I think that's important too because some pumps um I know like the baby buddha is a really common one that I reference a lot the minimum suction on that is really high. So if you don't, if you have sensitive nipples or maybe you want a lower suction, you want the whole range, the Baby Buddha isn't the best pump. It's known for its very, very strong suction, even on level one. So I like to test the pumps on level one as well. And this one, the minimum suction uh, was 71. So that's pretty good. Uh, gentle enough for almost anything. The gentlest pump I've ever tested is a pump from Free Me, and I could get like 10. But most of the pumps start at, uh, for a reference on that as well, Spectra, I believe, started at 21, something like that. This one started at 71, which is not terrible. I think the Baby Buddha starts at 121. So I think the minimum section was fine. It's a nice, gentle pump. Um, okay. One of the big things I learned after I posted that initial video is that this pump is FDA approved. And that is huge in my opinion, um, especially as a nurse and a medical professional. I really love it when companies take the time to get their devices or their products certified or approved by whatever agency is doing that. So um, I did look at a few other pumps like in this style and I couldn't find any other ones that had that FDA approval. So for me, I would recommend this pump over the other ones all day long simply because the Food and Drug Administration does approve it for use as a medical device. So this is very similar to other pumps like this. Um, and I'm not even sure what brand this is, but this is the legendary milk pump that they have done. Uh, the box that it came in is not branded with legendary milk at all either, which I don't know why their cups are. And I don't think, anyway, it has this brand all over it, but, um, yeah, looks like made in Korea, I'm guessing. Oh, it does. It might be a partner company because look, here's the Korean company that made it. And then it also has the legendary milk. So they must have partnered with this company to make it, which is cool. Um, 
That's awesome. So I really, really like this pump. I don't have anything really bad to say about it if you're looking for this style. The pricing is for a single is $74.99 and the double is $139. So that's a pretty good price. Um, again, for reference, uh, Mom Cozy is kind of known as like the, the cheap, you want it in the bra pump. And their pumps are, I think, $65 to $70 for the same pump. So this is five more dollars. Um, but you can get it in the double option and save a couple dollars even there. I would highly recommend it. There's actually a link in my bio or down in the description, depending on what platform you're watching this, um, for 10% off. So you can do that. That works with the cups, the supplements. I actually have never bought a product from Legendary Milk that I don't love. So, <laughs> shocker, this one also uh, measures up. So... I think for me, if I was trying to decide on this pump, it would boil down to, do I want this style of pump? If you're looking for the cup style with the motor on top, 100%, I would recommend this one over many, many others. If you're wanting a pump with phalanges or um, a cup that you can hook to a separate pump like your Genie Advanced, and you want just the cup, um, this is obviously not going to work. You have to use it with the motor that it came with, right? Legendary Milk does make cups you can put with your other pump. Or if you want to stick with the phalanges because those work the best for you, then this is not the pump for you, right? Because this is an in-the-bra wearable pump. So I hope that helps answer your questions. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to post them down below and me or the community that we have here will answer them for you. But yeah, I'm going to give that a... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for me. Just because this style of pump isn't... Why did they make this 28? Come on. Why not 24? Because then all the other inserts would work with it. So anyway, 9 out of 10 on this one. But uh, really no complaints. So there you go. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video.